I'm Mandy Liz. I'm a brand photographer, a podcaster, educator, and digital shop owner. I have been doing photography for 10 years, but I went full time five years ago. And my business has looked so different throughout the years. But the, the main consistency has been photography. I feel like a lot of other business owners, I had no intentions of starting a business. It happened accidentally. I um, got a camera for Christmas one year and then realized that that was a passion I had, that was a gift I had. But I was working a full-time job. I had no intentions of taking that camera and turning it into a business. Just slowly as you are tapping into a hobby, you start monetizing it. And then that suddenly was something that it got to the point where it was surpassing my full-time job income. So I kind of had to decide, am I going to stay on this corporate ladder trying to you know, further this career or am I going to do something for myself and dive into this? And I went ahead and decided to quit my job. Um, and that was about four years into having it as a hobby. So it's a, it's a slow grind. It's not something that happens overnight. But just taking the time to grow that side hustle, I put enough time and investment into it that I was able to become my full-time job. So I have now been a full-time business owner for five years. I just celebrated five years this week. And that to me is just so important to be able to celebrate that milestone and remember that milestone because 10 years ago when I started with my camera, I never expected to be able to have a business that I have today and to see so many different stages of this business and to see it go from just photography into education and digital shop sales and passive income and podcasting and so many different streams that I never would have envisioned when I first got that camera 10 years ago. I feel like running a business is a lot of trial and error. I, it took years to discover my brand and I do feel like now I have an established brand, I have a personal brand, all of that, but it goes way beyond just like branding and the logo and all of that. It really is at the core, just trying to figure out what am I good at? What am I, how can I serve people? What are the gifts that I have and what makes me stand out, what makes me different from the competition. When you're running a business, there's a lot of planning that you have to do and a lot of strategizing that you have to have to know how to grow your business. When I think about growth as an entrepreneur, for me, it obviously there's, you wanna keep growing your revenue, you wanna keep growing your clientele, you wanna keep growing your team. There's all these different milestones or things that you can hit and check the box and make sure that you're on the right track. But aside from that, growth for me is having a business that is sustainable through all the different stages of my life. We can't predict a market. We can't predict a pandemic. We can't, we're not in control of the outside factors. I can only control the internal factors of my business. And that's gonna be me. That's gonna be my team. That's gonna be the services and the products that we offer. That's gonna be my personal brand, my presence, all of that. I cannot control how an external mar market how an external market reacts to my business. So um, flexibility is huge when you're running a business. You have to be flexible and you have to be able to pivot, think outside the box and find ways to shift your offers, find ways to shift your business when those external factors hit and you, and you have to just find ways to um, be flexible and flow with that. Otherwise, you're never gonna get to where you wanna be in five years time. If you're inspiring to be an entrepreneur, my advice to you would be to just start. Start the business, launch the product or service, and just do it. Don't keep putting out excuses, just do it.